A very warm greetings to all. Today, it's indeed a very, you know, very good evening as we all were blessed to have such good speakers who blessed us with their inspirational stories. And I am also one of the speaker and I will be speaking about my journey today. Everything seems impossible until it's done. You know, if we talk about 50 years back, even the smartphones that we carry in our hand were impossible. Nobody thought that it could be made possible if we could have something, something like that device in our hands today. From a toddler to a teenager, I've always been full of curiosity and bag full of questions about the phenomena around us. With time, I realized that we need to orient ourselves in order to find out our hidden potential. If we really want to achieve something. When I reflect upon past four years of my school days, I humbly remember the kind of atmosphere created by the school to unleash my potential. And that is when I got to know my inclination towards astronomy. With a very young age, I used to feel connected with the space. I used to feel that this cosmos, this space, these stars guarantees you an endless curiosity. And this makes me remember of a memory uh, from my toddler one. So at that age group, I was like, five or uh, six age, I used to see at the sky and I used to look there and uh, there was a, the, every night there used to come a shiny circular object. Now we call that as moon, but at that time no child knows that is a moon. <laughs> we are too small. And I used to say to my mom that I want it, that I want this. And we all know that children are so stubborn. I was also very stubborn. So she very cleverly used to keep a pot filled of water just beneath it and the reflection of that moon used to cast upon that. And I used to see that, okay, I have this moon with me. I have this shiny thing with me. And I used to take it away and it used to get vanished. I used to feel connected with space from such a young age that I even didn't know that we study this under a branch of science that is astronomy. With very, like, with very, you know, small age, I used to feel very connected with stars. I used to feel that these stars were my center of fascination and curiosity. And this takes me to the memory of astronaut Rakesh Sharma, as we all know him. He is the first Indian citizen to go to space. It's not just the aura that surrounds him. These are the values that he lives his life with. And that inspires me to follow his footsteps. I very vividly remember when first astronomy lab in whole Delhi was made functional in our school. With every session that I was attending in astronomy club, I used to feel more inclined and interested in astronomy. I started spending more time in my class than I, like, I started spending more time in the astronomy lab than in my class. You know, when you become such passionate about something or anything, your mind just says you to explore it to its fullest. Know more about it. Explore it as much as you can. So I started going to Nehru Planetarium in Delhi and there I used to attend lectures on various aspects of astronomy and astrophysics. I also got a chance to participate in a state level quiz where students from various schools of Delhi participated and I got second position. I even got a gold medal from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam International Foundation. At national level and that was uh, one of my very big achievement that I consider. 
the knowledge that I was gaining from every session and the, every activities that I used to do in my astronomy lab or this was, you know, this was furthermore inspiring me and inspiring me and my curiosity. So I just decided that I should have a good vision, a greater vision in this field of astronomy and I should do, I should do furthermore do something more in this field. So I started on with my journey to discover an asteroid. And it was not an easy journey for a 12 year old like me. But my passion acted like a powerful engine and helped me drive through it. You know, when we have a car that has a very powerful engine, we can even take it to off-roads. You know, it can climb anywhere. So my passion acted like that engine, a very powerful one. The research work was very tedious and difficult, but I never looked back. I just kept on moving with it. I just kept on doing it. I also had my exams in that month, so it was very, you know, hard to even convince my parents that why should I devote my time in that. In a country like India, astronomy is such a subject that has always been seen with no such career prospects. Nobody thinks that, okay, we can have some good career in astronomy. It's something, someone can do something greater in astronomy. We just heard the stories of the astronauts and we just, you know, say, okay, they have done, it doesn't mean that you can also do that. But finally, the day came, and I remember the day, the day was May 6, 2020 at 12.51 a.m. I received an email from International Astronomical Search Collaboration, that is a subordinate body of NASA, declaring that I discovered a main belt asteroid. And at that time, I was of uh, 13 years. This made me the youngest asteroid discoverer throughout the world. And this was a point of time when my pen started believing in my dreams. They started seeing my journey from my viewpoint. I also got a chance to see the rings of Saturn and the moons of Jupiter through the telescope in an evening show that was conducted by our school. So this so this, you know, inspired me that I should also conduct these kind of sessions for other students who, didn't, who don't get a chance to see this. So I conducted those sessions, like these, where I used to show students the rings of Saturn. You know, when you see that ring of Saturn, it's really very breathtaking movement. You can't breathe for that one second. When you just see it, it's such beautiful. Such beautiful. <clears throat> with every session that I was doing with kids, it, it was even, you know, making me ha feel more happier. That okay, that, you know, I am showing them these uh, old wonders of space, and such beautiful wonders of space, even Jupiter, Moon, Mars. But nowadays, this old, a whole Delhi sky has become very cloudy and polluted. So now even these things, these objects are not visible clearly from Delhi. And now my ultimate dream is to make astronomy famous in the whole world and make its reach possible to every kid. Now you all must be thinking that how I was able to balance my regular studies and my passion. So I must share the fact here. I believe that education is all about just supplying concepts, blank information. So I used to pay undivided attention in the class and I used to listen to the teachers. One line is very well said, 
that if you want to become extraordinary, you need to just do something extra. You have to do something extra to become an extraordinary. And I will conclude with my last line. India is emerging as a global superpower by its achievement in the field of astronomy. All we need is passionate youth with staggering energy and unshakable willpower to take our country to new horizons of success. Thank you. Thank you, Nikhil.